Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I have the pleasure of providing you guys with a brand new skit video. And I thought with the Christmas holidays at our doorstep, I would share some of my own thoughts regarding the season's festivities. Culture forced me to include this disclaimer, by the way, so please don't mind this. The stresses of Christmas time make me hostile. I do not intend to offend or anger anybody who may disagree with my probably wrong opinions. Nope, okay, that's enough of that. You know? Culture gets his own fucking video format to literally just complain about shit. And here I am left out of the digital therapy session with just my escalating suppressed emotions. I have feelings too, you know! So what I've decided to do is create my own rant video behind Culture's back, but disguise it as a skit. And a list. Surely the son of a bitch won't notice it that way. Let's do this! 10 Reasons Why Christmas is Dog Shit by Crush Rose One of the Third! Enjoy, like, and subscribe! Number 1. Religion. Yep, you know what I hate more than culture's sweet little ass? Religion. That nonsense really gets in the way of irresponsible spending and overeating. Now let us all bow our heads in prayer. <laughs> Number 2. People who complain about religion. Believe it or not, the last thing I want to see when I'm letting that juicy turkey percolate in my stomach is a flubbery, pube-ridden neck under a fedora bouncing up and down excreting cries of edgy sacrilege. Number three, lying to children. Why would you enjoy that, you prick? Papa, is Santa going to visit us this year? Of course he is, son. He's going to effortlessly bound down our chimney and leave you expensive gifts that you don't deserve for no reason at all. Also, your mother and I love each other very much. Number four, family. Now I know what you're thinking. Crash, your family are the only people on this planet who could possibly love you. <laughs> But I specifically mean the family gatherings. Particularly those with relatives you haven't seen all year long. That gets awkward. Number five. Christmas. Christmas. Number six. Christmas photos. I needn't say more. Number seven. The noise. No. This isn't a reference to your half-deaf grandmother who raises her voice to ear-splitting levels just to hear herself think. Alone at the end of the table? Mmm, this turkey is so moist. I'm talking about the music. The music. Okay, everyone, let's get more into the Christmas spirit. Do you have Justin Bieber's Christmas album? What about Mariah Carey's? Michael Bublé? Oh, but I have something even more festive. Number eight, the month of December in general. Christmas isn't until the end of the month. Why can't it stay where it belongs? Ah, another Halloween has come and gone. Here's the season to be jolly, la 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 la. Number nine, every other month of the year. This isn't Christmas related. I I just wish I was dead. Number 10, the socioeconomic impact of commercialism and consumerism. Wait, that's not relatable enough. Uh, the, the, the feeling when you have to like pretend to be excited or not disappointed when you get uh, socks for Christmas from your grandma. Am I right, fellow teens? And that was my list, my skit. And just between you and me, my rant. If I'm completely honest, I don't know why culture doesn't let me do these things more often. I feel like things went well. On a serious note though, guys, both culture and I truly do hope you have a wonderful and safe holiday. Merry Christmas!